In this video, I'm going to answer the question, are you too old to start a career in IT? If you're 40 years plus and you're thinking of making a career change into IT and you're not sure if that's going to work out or not, keep watching. I'm making this video because I was asked by a prospective student today if I thought that they were too old to get started in IT. And it's actually a question that I get asked quite a lot. So I thought rather than emailing to everybody back individually all the time, what would probably be more useful is if I make a video, I can make it more conversational and I can point everybody here. So before I made my own video, I thought, okay, I'll have a look on YouTube and I'll see what other videos are out there on the same subject. And what I found was this one here from Failed Normal Redux. You probably know him better as Ellie the Computer Guy. Ellie the Computer Guy has been on YouTube for a long time and his videos are great. He's got this video question, at 29, am I too old to start in IT? And there's another one here from Zach at IT Career Questions. Zach is great as well. If you're ever looking for IT career advice, I strongly recommend his channel. Same kind of thing. Am I too old to get into IT? And at the start, Zach explains that he's answering a question that came from a 28-year-old. So I'm worried that if you also did a similar search to this, maybe you saw Zach's video first where you saw that it's a 28-year-old and then you see the subject of Ellie's video where it says, am I too old at 29? Well, if you're 40 plus, you might think, wow, if you're maybe too old at 28 or 29, then what chance do I have? But that's absolutely not the case. Actually, if you watch Ellie's video, it's it's hilarious. It's really funny, the response that he makes to the 29-year-old telling him not to be so ridiculous, you're still young. So honestly, if you're under 35, you don't need to watch this video. You're young, you're not old at all. But if you are over 35, then it's a valid question, right? So I'm going to assume that you're really serious about doing this already. Maybe the reasons that you're thinking of the career change is that you hate your current job. You hate getting up, going in at 9 a.m., working 9 to 5 every week. And you just can't stand your job and you want to do something different. And you're really interested in IT. So it seems like that would be a good thing to do. Or maybe you've just been laid off from your job and in your particular industry, there's not a lot of other jobs out there. So it would make sense to do something else maybe. And again, you're really interested in IT. So the assumptions I'm going to make you right at the start are that you're already passionate about IT and that you're really serious about making a career move into the industry, but you're just not sure if it's going to work out or not. So concerns that you could have would be you know, if I'm older and not just 35 plus, maybe you're 60 plus, maybe you're 70 plus, is it going to be difficult to actually learn the technology? Am I going to be able to actually do it myself? And then another concern that you could have is, okay, once I get qualified and I know that I'm capable of doing it, are employers going to actually give me a chance? Am I going to even get to interview and if I do get interviewed, do I have a chance of getting a job? So that's the main things that I'm going to talk about here. So the first one was, will you be actually able to learn it or not? And to be honest with you, yes, yeah, things do get harder to learn as you get older. I remember going way back, I started in IT like a long time ago, back in my 20s, and I remember it was really easy to learn stuff in. I was able to rip through the information and get new certifications very quickly that helped me go up the IT career ladder very quickly as well. Then in my mid-30s, I was working as an instructor, and in that job, I had to learn new technologies all the time. Because the company I was working for, we'd often get requests from large service providers or telcos about a course we wanted on some new technology. So I would have to actually learn that technology before I went and taught it to them. 
And I remember speaking to one of my friends, one of the other instructors at work one day saying, you know what, it's, it seems to be getting harder and harder to learn this new material. And he looked at me and he said, well, yeah, of course it is. You're not 20 anymore. You know, we're 35 now. And if you look at professional athletes, that is about the age it's pretty common to retire as an athlete, right? Because your body, that's when your body is degrading. And he said, you know, your brain is part of your body. The same thing is going to happen to it. So you're not going to be able to learn stuff as easily once you get over 35 as before that. And I thought, oh, yeah, you're right. Um, good news, though, is that was nearly 10 years ago. And I did notice a drop off at 35 but it hasn't got any worse since then. Uh, apparently, this is not like a linear thing where you just keep sliding down, down, down all the time, but it can happen in steps where you will notice a, a change at different points in your life where it can be more difficult to learn things. So again, I can't make an assumption on what your exact age is. Maybe you're 40, maybe you're 50, maybe you're 60, maybe you're 70. So you'll know yourself at, probably best about how easily you pick things up so what i would recommend you do is if you're not sure is just try it like if you're already in a job don't do anything crazy like pack in your job and go off to it school before you know if you're going to be able to handle it or not what to do is do some online training you can get free or really cheap online training resources do some certifications that way. There's entry-level certifications like from CompTIA, there's VA+, for networking, there's the CCNA. There's also certifications from Microsoft, etc. Do the entry-level qualifications on your own time. You can learn them online really inexpensively. And if you still love it when you're doing that, then great, it looks like this is going to be suitable for you. So the next thing to worry about is okay after you do get qualified and you know that you still love it and you know that you can do the job are you going to actually get a chance to do it by employers and the answer to this is yes with a little bit of a qualifier because we all know that agium does actually exist right but it really depends on the company that you are applying to and the culture there and I truly believe that in most organizations that yes, you are going to get a chance. Like for example, if it was me, if I'm the IT manager and I'm hiring, if I'm looking for somebody to work in IT, I want somebody that can hit the road running, that is going to be able to work immediately and that I'm not going to need to supervise and that I'm not going to have issues with. Now, if I've got the choice of somebody who is 60 or somebody who is 20, there's a lot of benefits to hiring the person that is 60. Because if I think about how I was when I was 20, honestly, I wasn't the most reliable person in the world. And it's normal at that age. When you're 20 years old, most likely you don't have so many responsibilities. Quite likely you don't have kids yet. You don't have dependents that you have to take care of. It's really just yourself. And I remember back when I was 20, the main thing that I wanted to do was hang out with my friends and have fun. My career was not the most important thing in my life at that stage. And I'm happy. I had a great time back in my early 20s. I wouldn't change it for anything. But now I'm, I'm like mid 40s now. My attitudes and my responsibilities have completely changed. I've got my wife and I've got my kids that I have to take care of. So I take my career a lot more seriously now. And I think that's true for really pretty much everybody in life. And employers know this as well. They know that if they hire you at 50 years old or 60 or 70 or however old you are, you are highly likely to be more stable and more reliable. And of course, you're going to be more mature. That's what maturity is than somebody who is 20 years old. So I would definitely not let worry about that put you off. If you have got the drive to go and do this now, employers will see that as well. Once you get into interview, I would advise you to sell these points about yourself as well. Let the interviewer know that yes, 
you've got into this at a later stage in life because you're highly motivated to do it. You're high, highly driven. You knew exactly what you were doing and you, you did it as a deliberate choice. Seeing that you've got that motivation is going to be very attractive to employers. You can also explain to them about how stable you are, how reliable you are, and that's a big plus for employers as well. Okay, I think I can pretty much wrap it up there. So really to summarize, no, you're never too old to get into IT. Actually, I'm running a CCNA bootcamp right now and two of my students are at normal pension age. I remember when I saw that they joined the program and I thought, oh, maybe they're just doing it for interest. Maybe they're retired already and just something to keep them taking over because they're interested in it. But actually, both of the students are doing this with a view to long-term working in the IT industry. And I found that really inspiring. Again, if I'm an employer, I'm going to be very happy to hire somebody who is more mature because, again, it's just going to give me that reliability and stability. Okay, that's it from me. You can visit my website at www.flatbox.com to get loads of free training resources to help you make your move into an IT career. And you can download my free CCNA lab guide by clicking the link above my head. Thanks.